first thing I'm going to do is I am going to open up uh, my file. These are the templates that I made and I am going to choose one of them. There are nine templates. Yep, there are nine. And this is the one I'm gonna choose. I love this one. I love the colors. Um, a lot of my friends, they love sneakers. And so this is the one I'm gonna choose for the tutorial today. So I'm gonna open this up. This is the PNG. So you are more than welcome to open it up inside of any program. Um, to edit it if you need to add any words or a father's name or anything like that to it. So um, I'm going to tell you the exact size of it. I do print this out on sublimation. Image, image size. There you go. So the width is 12.503 by 16.86. So that is the size. So if you need to upload it into another program to edit it, this is what you are going to put in for the size. So, okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to write um, Happy Father's Day. I don't know what font I'm going to use. I'm going to put Happy Father's. Day. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so I can see it. I'm going to resize it, but I just want to be able to see it right now. And then I'm going to make it white. Just for now, just so I can see it. The background is kind of busy, so we don't need anything too busy up here. Just something just kind of plain. Um, it takes me the longest to pick out what fun I want to use, um, especially for like a, a man. I don't usually, you know, choose fonts that are really feminine, lots of curls and swirls. So I'm just trying to find something that I think fits. It could be anything. I like this one. It's simple, straight to the point. And so I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to change the size. Let's try 85. All right, that fits perfect. I'm going to do a little, I'm going to do a drop shadow. So you can see it better just like that. Um, you can you change this to another color. You can put like, you know, if you wanted to change it to another color, I could easily change it to one of the colors inside of down here. I could change it to red. I kind of like it with the white that I had in the beginning. You could put a gradient on it up here if you wanted to put a certain color gradient. If you want it, I do like these as well. These look good with the with the gradient. I rather have like a white blue gradient like this. And then if I wanted to do this, I probably would change this blue to a blue down here or you know, a blue that's on here somewhere. I kind of like the bright one like that. Let me go back and forth and decide if I like the white better or the gradient. Personally, personally, I like the white. Let me try one more thing. I'm going to do a color overlay of black and then I'll put a white stroke on it to see if I like that better. And I think I actually like that better. So I like this better than the white. And so let me make my drop shadow a little bit bigger. Okay. So I have my happy Father, Father's Day up here. And now I am going to print this sublimation. I'm going to print this. 
with my 1660, I mean 16600, I'm sorry. And I'm going to do 13 by 19. And I'm going to print this out because we are going to sublimate the front. That's all for here. So I'm going to end this video and then we're going to come back with the print. Okay, upside down. This is our print. It is 13 by 19. We are going to sublimate this onto glittered cardstock. I'm going to turn you around here. So I bought a poster size glittered cardstock. It came from Joanne. It's poster size. I know this is for a man and this is glitter. It's going to look good. Trust me. Nobody is going to say, why does it sparkle and shine? This poster board is in the poster board section. And one poster board will make two, two of these. My first one I made was really large. And so I decided to resize it so I can sell it for cheaper. And put less items in it as well. So I am just going to take this down. You don't need to cut the edges off because you're going to cut all of that off anyway. So I'm just going to take this down. Just like so. I'm going to cover it up. And we are going to press for one minute. One minute at 400. Mine is actually on 390 right now, but it works just the same. I used to use sticker paper, poster sign, and make made the big one. It was really big, but I find this small one just a lot easier to manage and make, and the cost is is way down. Like I don't even spend about ten to twelve dollars to to actually make it. it. Takes about maybe an hour your first time, but your second one probably won't take that long but it takes me about 30 minutes or so to make it if I'm not explaining as I go along so it's been a minute I'm just going to open this I'm going to peel this off and I am going to show you how good it looks. It looks perfect. It looks really, really good. It has so much shine and detail. It looks perfect. So now we're going back inside. I am back. Here goes the fun part, kind of the most tedious part, but we are going to start cutting everything out. So this piece, of course we're going to use foam board, but this piece has to be glued down to the foam board. So we'll do that step first so we can start drying. You need two pieces of foam board. This one is cut from, so we're going to imagine it's not cut from, but you need, you just need two pieces. This came from Walmart. This is size 22 by 28 inches. You only need two of these and you can get these from Walmart and they are ch pretty cheap, like cheaper than Hobby Lobby or anything like that. So I'm looking for my scissors. I just had them beside me. I just don't know where I put them. 
Come on, Kelly. What did you do? I literally just had the scissors beside me. Oh, I moved them to cut. Give me a second. Got my scissors. So I'm just gonna cut this down just a little bit. So I won't have to glue as much. I am going to use rubber cement glue. I'm just cutting this down a little bit and you see why I said that you don't have to, you see why I said that you don't have to worry about cutting the edges off even if it bleeds. You're gonna cut that part off in any way. So I'm going to use rubber cement glue, Elmer's. And if you don't know, rubber cement glue likes to stick to rubber cement glue. So we are going to glue this surface and I'm just gonna glue all over the surface. I'm gonna cover the entire thing. Make sure I don't leave any gaps, any holes. Just thin, a thin layer. It does not have to be a thick layer. You don't want to glob it on. You just spread it evenly and don't miss a spot. Try not to. So I'm going to sit that to the side and let it dry. Then I am going to get my foam board, which I am going to use this piece right here. And then I'm going to do, do the same exact thing to this foam board. So it will be helpful if you take your little ruler and measure out a 13 by 19 section so you'll know how much you need to full, fill, sorry, how much you need to fill, but I am just going to just imagine that I know the size in my head. I'm just gonna cover a big surface. And then you need both of these surfaces to, to dry. And once you both of them dry, you can press them together. And it's, um, it's way more secure than just pressing it while it's not two dry pieces together. Okay, so we're going to let this dry. It takes a few minutes. I usually grab something and just fan it. Just fan it dry. This piece is, you, you can kind of see, let me see if I can tell, show you. You can kind of see uh, the wet pieces. Yep, you can see it there. You can kind of see that it's almost dry. So it only takes about two minutes, maybe three at the most to dry. If you have it super thick, then it will take longer. Just keep fanning until it's, you know, mostly dry. The only part that's not dry are my little globs that I said not to put there. I can kind of press it with my finger. It's only a few of them to get it to dry more. Okay. So I am going to take this and I am going to press the two surfaces together. And I'm going to rub, 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 and press. 
so it is immediately stuck together. We can actually cut it out now. This will be our first cutout. And so let's get started. We'll cut this one out first. This one is probably the hardest one to cut out. So we'll go ahead and just do this one first. Okay, so I have a cutting mat, a, a big cutting mat. It is 16 by 23. Yes. 17 by 23, excuse me. And so this is what we're going to cut out on. I'm going to try to fit this in so you can see see it but sometimes i won't be able to fit it all in the camera i have a ruler it has a cork bottom which kind of helps it not to slide and this is what we are going to use to cut it out i have an exacto knife you have to be very careful with this not to cut yourself so what we're going to do this is how we're going to cut out all of the pieces we're going to take this piece we're going to line it up on the side we're going to line it all the way up. Then we're going to take our X-Acto knife. And then we are going to slowly and carefully drag it along the ruler. You want to go slow and steady. Sometimes you have to do it twice to make sure it went all the way through. But just whatever you do, go slow. You could pick it up and then you'll know if it's cut or not. Just go slow. That way you can control the knife. Gonna put it at the top. Same thing. Just keep going slow. You might wanna, you know, do it fast and get it over with, but I'm just gonna advise you to keep doing it as slow as possible. I'm gonna line this across the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna cut this side. Okay, so I have the square cut out. Now I'm going to cut out these smaller pieces at the bottom. I just wanted to make it like kind of sit up. I did design this design in Illustrator. So when I designed it, I wanted it to, you know, of course it's not going to be a real vending machine, but I wanted it to kind of look similar to one. And so I wanted it to have like little feet on the bottom. And so that's why I included this part. But I think it's pretty easy to cut out. You just, everything, all the lines are straight. So it's not like you're cutting a square or anything like that. So you just go slow. But by you having this template, it makes everything easy. So, I mean, it makes everything so easy by having a template. So, you're welcome. No, I'm just playing. But, you know, that's why I do templates. So, I can, so it can make it easier for anybody. I had a little piece of white left, so I had to cut that piece off. I already did that one. I have a bit of OCD, so I kind of like my stuff to be neat anyway. So I like to go slow, slow and steady. I want my cuts to look really good. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut out the window right here. We're gonna do it the same way. You're just gonna line this up. 
Sometimes it's easier to do this one if you do it this way. So you can see exactly where the white starts and stops. So if I do it this way, make sure your knife is tight. <laughs> it just gets loose while you're cutting it sometimes. I'm gonna go slow. Cut twice, turn. I'm gonna keep the white square on the inside of the ruler. That way I can see how far I need to go up or, or down. Okay. One more piece. Sometimes, sometimes when you cut this piece, you can't really. I'm gonna turn this this one this way. I don't have enough edge to keep it as stable as I want to on the end the ruler, so I'm just gonna cut this one this way. I'm gonna say sometimes when you're cutting the square, you don't cut it all the way through, but you'll be able to see it once you finish. Once you push it and it doesn't go through, you'll know um what part isn't cut all the way through and you can just turn it over and just cut that little piece that way you can push it through okay so we have the square cut out and i have an option for you so some people like to cut this part open well i ain't gonna say some people everyone that i have made I cut this one open on the bottom so I can put candy on the inside. If you don't want to put candy on the inside, then I would advise you not to cut that part open. My other one that I did that I will show you later, it is cut open. And with this option, I'm not going to cut it open just so people can see how it looks to not cut it open. Actually, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it anyway because if I don't show you how to cut it, you're not going to know. So... They all have a line around them, and you're going to cut the outside line. So you're going to cut it the same exact way. You're going to cut the outside line because you always have an option of, um, I'm going to show you how to reattach it so it can open. You always, even after I cut it out, I don't have to use the flap, but I'm going to do it anyway. I just decided. That way y'all will know how to do it. If you decide to. the door mm -hmm. okay so with this the same way if you push and it don't give it doesn't give you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna complete the cuts just to the corner it's usually the corners so you can get this taken out but it's typically just the corners once you get it out, you're good. So I cut the square out, but just, just as you cut it out, you can put it right back in. So you can't tell that I cut it out, but it allows me to open the flap if I need to. So... What we're going to do from here, Kalani, what we're going to do from here is we are going to add a window here 
and we're going to make this flap usable. Can you give me this paper down here? That box of... So I have some transparency film that I print on. And so it fits this perfect. So I am going to take this to the top and the bottom so it can have a window. I'm gonna cut this white piece off. I don't need this white piece. And I'm just gonna put my piece of transparency film it has a shiny side and a kind of like a side that has that's not so shiny but it doesn't matter what side you put it on i'm just going to lay that here i'm going to get my handy dandy tape this is how i you can use glue you can attach it however you want to attach it but i attach mine with black duct tape it's really strong and durable And so that's what I use. I'm going to give myself two pieces. I, I just put it on here. And I like to slide my knife down it. To cut it. It's probably too long. Let me see how long the window is. It is about eight and a half inches. So we're gonna cut this about right here. And we're just gonna tape, I mean, you could tape three, I mean, you can tape all the sides if you want to. I think I'm just gonna tape two sides. I'm just gonna get it where it fits perfectly. and just goes over the edge of each side, just a little tiny bit. put the tape on it then straighten it up and then I'm gonna press it down just like that and then I'm gonna put a piece at the bottom How I make this flap opens, same thing. I'm gonna put tape over it, over the back of it. I'm just gonna put the tape over from one side to the other side. I usually put two pieces. I'm not gonna cover where it opens I'm just going to go from cut to cut and I'm just going to tape across the top and this allows it to flap open if you want it to flap open. And so what you would do after I have my cover on, I have my, my flap on, I'm going to pull this a little bit tighter down here. So I have my clear piece on here and then I have my flap. And if I wanted to push it open, all I would do is you're gonna push, push, push until, until it goes through. You're gonna keep pushing all the way around until it goes through. And then you have a flap that you can open and close. And if you don't want the flap there, you just simply push it, push it back through. If you say, oh, I cut it, but I changed my mind. I don't want to use the flap. Then you just press it until it pops back in place. And you have 
your flap back together. So this piece is done. We are done with this piece. So we're gonna keep going. Now we have to cut out the rest of it. And let me grab this sheet right here so I can show you. The whole template, you can definitely print out on yours for sublimation. You can save this, you can use this over and over again, but I don't know how I can show you all of this at one time, so I'm gonna slide it up. This is a blueprint that I printed. It is 24 by 36. I got this printed out at Office Depot and it was only $3.23. You just get it in black and white, and this is gonna be your template. Like I said, you can use this over and over. I have one over here on the floor that I cut up already um, and you can use it over and over. So I'm gonna slide it. It has a back, a left side, a right side, a top, a shelf, and a shelf. And this is printed at Office Depot. And of course, like I said, we are just going to take this we are going to cut the pieces. You just have to cut them loosely. You don't have to cut them, but this is what you're gonna use to cut out your pieces. So you know if you cut these out and use these that you're gonna have the right size so everything fits together like a puzzle. A couple of the pieces I left a little bit bigger because I don't want you to, I don't want you to um, cut it too short. So one or two pieces, you might have to cut off a little tiny millimeter or a centimeter, but I did it like that on purpose because I'd rather you cut it too big than too short. So I'm trying to save you. So the right side and the left side are the same, are the same exact template. So you can just use one of those and cut it out twice. The top, and you have two shelves. I gave you two, but you can cut the shelf out twice. And then you have the back. So you have the left, right, two shelves, back and top. So it's not very many sides. And then we are gonna cut these out the same exact way. I'm gonna try to push this back a little bit. So give me a, it'll give more room. Okay, so we're, we are going to cut these out the same exact way we did. I take some T-pins or some push pins or some straight pins or some um, I don't even know what these are called, but they're for sewing. And you take these, and this is what we're going to hold the template down with as we cut it out. So I have my foam board. This foam board has stripes on one side, so it still doesn't matter because we are going to cover that. So to avoid having to cut out this side and this side, I'm just gonna line that one up on the edge. I'm gonna put this on the corner. I'm gonna put this on the edge, put this one on the corner. I'm gonna take my pen. I'm gonna use a pen to hold it in place. I can go down here and press this down to see, to make sure it's lined up on the edge. And that's on the edge now. So I use a couple of these pins to just hold it down. If you put them close to the edge, you'll have to move them. So move them in a little bit. Besides the front, this is the next piece that's a little hard to cut out just because it has the same piece at the bottom. But it's not hard. You've already done it once. This isn't straight. Okay, so now it's straight. Yep. So I'm gonna cut this out the same way. I don't have to cut this side or the top. So we're gonna cut across the bottom. this side right here okay so we have that piece cut out except these little 
pieces at the bottom. corner out one more piece and this piece is cut out So now we have the entire back cut out. So we have the back done. I am going to take this off just like so. I'm going to move it to the side. Then we're going to carry on with the next piece. I'm going to pull this piece right back up. The same piece that I had before. And I'm going to start cutting out my other pieces. So we have my two shells and we have the right side. We have the right side and the left side. I'm trying to see if they'll fit here. And they will. So I am going to put this to the corner corner to corner if you cut the white off then you'll be able to, to see the corner as well like if I wanted to make sure I had it on the corner I could you know trim this side off like so and trim this side off the same way. And then I could line it up like this. And then I would know that I am on the corner. But we need two of these because we need a right and a left. And I told you that you could just use the same piece to cut out both of them because they are the same size. that side then I'm gonna cut this piece right here so we have our our right side now I'm gonna cut that same exact one out again Trying to get it lined up perfect. 
The more perfect you have it, the better it'll fit together. Okay, so we have our right and left side done. Now we need our two shelves. You do have an option if you wanted to put another shelf. I only made, when I made the bigger version, I made two shelves. That was more stuff I had to put in it. I only wanted one shelf. So therefore, I only made a bottom of the whole project and one shelf. That's it. So the two shelves, one of them is actually the bottom but it's labeled shelf you need two of those so you need two of these in the top and we are done cutting out have a shelf that can fit here so I'm going to fit this here I'm just gonna utilize as much as much as I can with the scraps but you like I said in the beginning you only need two you only need two of these smaller boards for the complete project. One shelf. We need one more in the top. That is it. I'm going to cut off two sides of this so I can line it up. Perfect. I don't typically do this, but I'm just showing y'all how to avoid cutting four sides when you can cut two sides. This is the most tedious part, cutting out the pieces. But once you get the pieces cut out, then you're ready to rock and roll. It's no, it doesn't take as long to glue it to get together. But like I say, the whole project takes me about 35 minutes-ish from start to finish. And that's when I'm not explaining. I like to make a couple at a time. Like, cut them out as many as you can especially if you think you're going to sell them cut out a few of them and then if someone wants to order one whether you fill it or let them fill it then you'll have it available Got our top cut out and now all we need is the last shelf and that's it and just like I said you can reuse these over and over again so don't throw them away you don't have to print them out anymore unless you you know cut these too much or you just put them to the side and 
use it over and over again and like i said before you can print this template out with your sublimation just print it out on your sublimation printer if you don't have the access of like office depot or the blueprint you can print it out all the templates on your computer because they are all smaller than 13 by 19. this is the last piece okay now i'm gonna put my knife up put my cap back on and we are ready to rock and roll I'm going to keep some scraps to the side and I'll show you why in a minute, but we are ready to get this party started. I'm still going to glue on top of here because I don't want to miss get any glue on my desk. So I'm just going to do everything on top of here. So we need our back piece. We have our back. And I'm trying to see if I want to glue to the front or to the back. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna take my front. We're gonna take the front and we're gonna glue to the front. So we need our two sides. We need our right side. I'm gonna try to back you up a little bit more so I can get more of the screen. So we need two sides. We need our left side and our right side. And we are hot gluing this. I have some stripes on this, and so I want to make sure I have the right side on the inside. So I am going down the edge. I am going down the edge with hot glue. As neat as possible. And then I am going to put this, I'm gonna line it up and I'm gonna hold it in, in the glue. Okay, you have to hold this for about, for about a minute. But this is just the one initial glue. We are going to use reinforcement glue. But you're going to hold it until it stays. Once it stays, it's not fully dry. You don't want to bump it over because it will still fall over. But we're going to move to the, the next side. So you're going to take this glue. And you're going to do the same thing. Same thing. Make sure I got my lines on the inside because of this type of board. And we are gonna line this up the same way. On the edge. And we're gonna hold it for about a minute. This, you can tell what pieces are what pieces because they match up. The two shells are smaller than the top. So we have our two shells. I am going to take this shelf and I'm going to glue it to the bottom. We're gonna do it the same way. I'm gonna put glue along here, the edge. I'm gonna put glue along this edge. And I'm going to put glue along the back right here. 
this has stripes as well, but that doesn't matter. So I'm going to press this to one side and the other side. If you miss any spots with the glue, you just go back, put more glue. We're going to lose a, use a lot of glue. So make sure your glue sticks are close by. I'm just gonna hold this. For a few minutes. And what I do is I reinforce all glue. So along this wall, I'm going to put glue all the way, hot glue a generous amount all the way down the corner. I'm going to do the other side the same way. All the way down the corner. I'm going to do the bottom the same way. I reinforce all sides with the hot glue. And I just let it dry on its own time which is a few minutes. So I reinforce all of them. Now I'm gonna put my shelf in. And I told you I cut the shelf a little bit bigger. That way it can fit in perfect. You may have to cut off a little centimeter or so if you need to. It depends on if you glue your walls on the outside or on the edge on the top of the edge. So it just varies. So I'm gonna glue this shelf right below the window. I want it right below the window and I only want one shelf. If you want another shelf, then you would cut out an extra one of these and you could glue it in wherever you want to put it. So I am, I want my shelf here. So I just wanna put a little mark here on the side and a little mark here on the side. So I'll know where to put my glue on the insides until I slide this in. So I'm going to take my glue gun. I'm going to make a line up this side. I'm going to make a line up this side. And I'm going to make a line across the bottom. And then I'm going to slide this back in right where it can be held. I'm going to turn it to the side to make sure it's straight. I don't want it leaning. I'm going to make sure it's straight all the way across. I'll sit it up and look at it. To make sure that it is straight. Once I get it straight, right where I want it, you know what I'm doing. I'm reinforcing the glue on both sides where it meets the wall. Get another glue stick. And the bottom as well. I'm gonna do the bottom on both sides. Believe me, you're gonna have glue strings. You're gonna have to pull them. Unless you, you know, you got the Cricut glue gun, which I don't have. But you're gonna pull all of those off. Okay, so 
This is where I use another piece of duct tape. I'm gonna use another piece, two pieces actually. And I'm going to put them, anything that I can do to reinforce my shelf not falling because it's just foam board and glue. Sometimes I put heavy things on them, I'm going to do. So I'm gonna cut two pieces of tape, two pieces of duct tape. And I'm gonna put a piece of duct tape here and here. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna kind of fold it in half backwards like this. And then I'm gonna put it in the corner. And I'll show you once I get it in there. See how I got it in the corner right there? I'm gonna do the other side the same way. Sometimes I have heavy liquor bottles and stuff on my shelf. And so I want my shelf to stay. I don't want it to fall down and the customer, you know, get mad because my shelf fell down. So I got my shelf in, I got it reinforced, and I'm gonna put one more reinforcement in there. Remember I told you to keep some scraps nearby? So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut a piece of this and I'm gonna glue it in and to reinforce it as well. So I'm gonna take it I'm gonna measure where I need to cut it. Just get some scraps. I need to cut it about right here, I think. And I'm just gonna loosely cut this by eye. I need to cut off a little bit more. Come on knife, you need to stay in. Cut off a little tiny bit more. Just cut off a little bit at a time because you can go far, go too far fast. I need to cut off a little bit more. Okay, it's going in, but I want to cut off a little tiny, tiny bit more. Okay, it goes in. Now see how I put that there? I'm gonna put one on both sides and this is going to help it stay, um, stay up as well. So wherever your door is flapping, you wanna make sure you have it on the outside of where your door is so your door still can flap in with this attachment on it. So I'm gonna put glue here and then I'm gonna slide this in right where I put the glue. And it's not going to block my door, but it's going to help it. It's like a building having a beam. We're putting another beam inside so it can help our shelf stay up. And I'm going to show you just like so. And if you see my door will still flap in if I'm using my door. I, you don't want to block your door. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And then we're almost done. I'm going to do the same thing. I got a scrap. I'm going to cut this scrap. So I can do the other side the same way. I just keep cutting. Until it fits. All right. And I want it to kind of fit snug. I'm going to do this one the same way. I'm going to glue it on the outside of the door. Because I don't want to block my door from opening. Put a stripe of glue. I'm going to slide this in place. Right where I glued. Once I get it in place, then I'm gonna, once I get it in place, now I'm going to reinforce that one. I'm gonna put glue on the top and the bottom. Okay, 
So now if you have candies that you want to put inside, we're going to start filling it because it's time to fill it. So let me aim my camera up some. Because it's time to start filling. Our piece. I have a bag of goodies here. So if you're going to put like some loose candy in here, like I have stuff everywhere. So y'all have to forgive me. Let's say I wanted to open these up and pour them on the inside because that's dad's favorite candy. I would fill that right now. I will fill it up because you're going to put this, the back on. And then once you put the back on, it'll have the candy in there already. So I have some candy that I'm going to put in there. I just have some of these candies. I'm just going to pour it in here. And then I'm actually going to put, this has little stripes on it too. I'm not going to put it on the inside because it will show through and nobody's going to look at the outside. So we are going to glue this on the same exact way we did everything else. I fill my candy up right here as much as I'm going to put in here. You could put any items inside of here. So if you want, you know, if you don't want candy in there and, if he doesn't eat candy and he likes, you know, you want to put some razors in there or something that he uses, then you can fill it up. You can fill it up however you want to fill it up. So this goes on the same exact way. We're going to put glue on the edge. We're going to line it up just like so. I usually do one side at a time. It's just easier that way. So I'm going to line up one side, hold it for a minute. And then I'm going to turn it this way, and then I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to glue the edge as neatly as possible. Any glue that's on the outside, you can always pull it off after it dries. So I'm going to line this up, and then I'm going to hold it. I also like take these little scraps while I'm here. And I kind of like smooth it down like I'm doing, you know, putty. And if I need to pull it off, you can pull it off. Once it turns white and you need to, you know, clean up, you can do that. You hold it down until it dries. Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. Um, one of these, I put tape the mother's day ones i put tape um on one side that way you can flap it open and i put velcro on this side so it can velcro um you can use some like uh, cabinet fasteners if you want to open it and close it but that is totally optional and you can do that if you would like so it's many different ways you can always change it you know to make the door open little kids like to keep their stuff i got the candy on the inside now we're ready to fill. Look how good that looks. It looks freaking amazing. I'm gonna twist. I'm gonna twist. I'm gonna keep twisting. Just like so. So we got it like this. And my last one I filled with liquor and Swisher sweets and cologne. But I wanted to do this one different because Somebody might not like that. So I bought some different items. And I am going to get my handy dandy. Um, I have some glue somewhere. Let me get it off. It's on the inside. It's just a line of glue that's going to bother me. Come on, glue.
Let me get something and rub it off. I need something with a little abrasion. Let me see. Okay, it's gone except for on this side. All right, it's gone. Okay, so I'm gonna get my nano tape. And if you're not familiar with nano tape is, it's this right here. This is gonna help all the items stick and stay. So this is kind of heavy. I just bought some, you know, body spray and deodorant. I wanted to keep this one a little more simple. I know I just keep my light. I wanted to keep this one a little bit more simple. So you cut your nano tape. First, you decide where you want to put it before you stick it down. You decide, but I'm just going to stick. So you put your tape on it, and then it has like a little clear layer that you pull off. Once you pull that clear layer off, then you stick it down, and it stays in place. I'm going to put a little piece on all of these. To keep them in position it's kind of like when when you were little and you got a Easter basket and everything had that tape on it to keep it in place kind of like that And like I said, I didn't put this where I, you know, I didn't decide where I wanted to beforehand. I'm just putting this stuff in here and it's just going to fall how it falls. But I would advise you to sit everything in there, find your position. I just been doing a lot of these. So I kind of just, I don't want to say nowhere to stick it because I do change my mind sometimes, but Sometimes this is a little hard to get the little clear film off the bottom. So a lot of times I'll use my little Cricut pick to pick it off. So I have a beard brush and I have some beard oil and I have this deodorant. I'm just going to do this like this because I, I rather have this showing. And then they can just see the deodorant in the side or, you know, I can take this up. Put the deodorant here that's why I said you know try to position it I can put the spray here I can put this here and I can put this here like that or like I was doing with my first mind, I can put one of them. I can definitely put this and put this on top of it too as well. If you want to do that. Put the beard brush and the beard oil. Or I can put the beard oil. Let me show you a trick. I can put the beard oil in the front. Like so. And I can make a little shelf 
I'm used to, you know, cutting out shapes and making things. I can definitely make a little shelf in the back. I'm just cutting out a rec rectangle like this. And I can use my hot glue to attach, attach it, attach it to here. I'm going to use my nano tape to attach that part. And I might use the nano tape to attach the bottom too. So I'm going to put a piece of nano tape right here. I'm going to take this little clear film off. I'm going to attach this to here. Like that. And then I'm going to get another piece of nano tape. About this long. And I'm going to attach it. From here to here. See? Like that. That's the sticky side, so I can stick that right here. We had a shelf, and then I got some beef jerky. And I'm going to put in here. And then I have these turtles that I wanted to put in here as well. And so I also would like them to sit up some. So I'm just going to grab. I'm going to. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut another piece. And I'm just making this up as I go along. It's still not long enough. I'm going to make one longer. I have my top there. You're not going to mess up the top. Let me come over here and get another piece of scrap. I need a longer piece. A longer piece, a longer piece. See how I made it sit up? Well, this one goes over here. So we're going to put the turtles over here in the corner. And I made a little shelf so they can sit up. And then I'm going to put the beef jerky over here. All right, I'm gonna put a little piece of tape on this to hold this back and we will put the top on and we'll be done. I'm gonna kind of turn this toward me so I can see what I'm doing. I wanted my items to stick up, but I didn't want them to push the other items forward. So I'm going to put some tape on to hold them back. I 
need a couple more pieces of tape and we're done. I'm gonna open up a new roll. Look at me. I forgot I got another item too. So we are gonna move this. I forgot I bought. See that nano tape is tough. I forgot I bought some. I'm just gonna put it on the side. You can still see it. I'm not gonna even move it. That nano tape is the truth. So you see why I said they're not gonna uh -huh. <laughs> They're not going to fall, the items. So we're just going to put this in the corner so you can see it. It says beard and face wash. I just don't like the way this is sitting. Maybe because I tugged on it. You got to have everything perfect before you close the top. Because once you close the top, you won't be able to move anything. So this is just going to flap down when I glue the top. And we are going to put the top on now. Whew, y'all got me sweating. And it's cold in here, but I'm working hard, so I'm sweating. I'm going to cut a little piece of this off. I want it to fit a little bit better. I'm only cutting off about a centimeter. It on the top perfect so same thing you're gonna glue around the edges I'm just gonna go fast as possible and I'm gonna do all four sides at one time you just want to go fast so you won't so it won't dry on a side you're gonna put your top on I kind of want to be doing this from looking at it so I can make sure it's right. But I'm trying to keep it on you at the same time, the camera. You're going to hold it down. And we are done. We're done. So all you need to do now is give it to whoever you want to give it to we are completely done that took less than an hour but you know we're explaining and thinking about things while we're doing it and i think it looks great so i think it looks great here's a better closer look we got everything in there. It's looking really good. I really like it. <laughs>